Joining me now to discuss today's judgment of the Supreme Court is a legal practitioner, Joshua Lobo. He joins us from our studio in Abuja. Mr. Lobo, thank you so much for joining us on the News at 10. Uh, would you, would you, what do you make of this, of this uh, judgment? So, do you think this will help the PDP mend broken fences and probably come together to be that viable opposition party that Nigeria really needs now? First and foremost, this judgment go beyond victory for PDP. It's a victory for Nigeria. It's a victory for democracy. It's a victory for the survival of Nigeria as an entity. Because going by what has been happening, at least in the past six months, Nigeria democracy has been threatened because we don't have a real opposition to checkmate the ruling government as it were. Like uh, I was privileged to be in the Supreme Court, this judgment should not be seen as a victory for McAfee faction, as it were, like in the words of McAfee, if there is neither victor nor vanquish. What does that mean? That in order for PDP to come together, we should be guided by the history. What happened to the aggrieved five state governor that eventually pulled out and formed a coalition or formed with a coalition now that is called APC that weakened the power of APC. So what APC as a family uh, should look at this judgment is a beginning for them to forge ahead because there are a lot of fundamental issues that this judgment have generated. In the first place, the uh, the Supreme Court has said that the convention was properly constituted, and if the uh, convention was properly constituted and a caretaker committee had been uh, appointed in the name of Senator McCarthy, what is the duration of a caretaker, a caretaker committee that was appointed? It cannot be infinitum. He must have a, a lifespan or a gestation period that he must operate in that acting capacity. So what it should be uh, uppermost at this material time is to see how they can reach out to Sheriff Kam, and the judgment was quite explicit that there was no need for the adumbration. What I'm appealing based on this judgment from the legal point of view is that the lack of internal democracy in Nigeria is a, main, is a major threat to our democracy. And the democracy that we are talking about does not exist only within a political platform. It goes beyond that because there is no political culture as we speak. Because if you look at APC have degenerated in such a way that in the, uh, May 29, I made a postulation that I'm afraid whether APC government can conduct a credible election in May 2000, before 2019. I'm an APC chieftain just because of Buhari, because some of us that are from Benue, we know that we don't have government as we speak. Because what we have is just an auto-governor uh, auto that just Mr. rely on subversion from the Federated uh, from Mr. the Mr. Lobo. as it were. So what should, what we should consider, Lobo, I'd, I'd, I'd like us to focus. What we should consider okay. is that the survival of Nigeria has been revived. I'd like us to focus on, on the reason, you know, for, for, you know, it seems like you're, you're, you're giving us a much broader perspective on all of this now, but let's just narrow it down to today's judgments at the courts. Um, there, of course, there's still a lot more questions, you know, with the PDP and so on. So does this judgment answer all of the questions that they have? I know you have hopes that the PDP will eventually become a viable opposition, but do you think this questions all the questions that uh, all the, all the uh, different factions have? And, you know, will this sort of unite the party eventually? Do you think everyone is happy with this judgment? Certainly, the court is not in position to determine political questions, and that has been resolved by plethora of cases by the Supreme Court. So whatever the Supreme Court has done is just to stretch some gray area, and in order for the party to look inward and see how they can reconcile themselves, because what the judgment of the Supreme Court has done in, is, a, is the best way to, uh, that they will have determined the matter, one way or the other. Do you understand? But for the PDP to build their house, they must be able to resolve their political question by adopting a Dixon, Dixon mode that was talking about how to resolve this particular crisis or this why. So, to me, the Supreme Court have done their best, but the Supreme Court, we do respect, is not in position to determine political question. But it's left for the political party to decide their, poli their differences. But by and large, I think it has uh, really uh, softened some gray area 
uh, making uh, a, a, a chart a part for the political actors to know how to be guided. So they should reach out to themselves and know how to form themselves because 2019 is not any longer far and a key election is coming 2018. So there's a lot of issue for PDP to resolve and with the victory in Oshu State in Adelike, irrespective of the factor that were claiming victory, the judgment of the Supreme Court does not in any way recognize any faction. Because the court cannot determine which fashion is valid at the two but it will recognize the duly constituted body that follow the constitution. And that is the constitution of PDP that has been interpreted. And that the election or the decision that, they, uh, that was reached in the in political convention in May uh, has actually produced McCarthy in line with PDP constitution. So we should look at the PDP convention, uh, constitution, and see how they can uh, reconcile their differences at it where.